Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well. So today I want to talk about the non-independent method of playing by Bob Moses. And if you guys haven't heard of Bob Moses, I would highly recommend that you check him out. He's a jazz drummer, avant-garde drummer, uh, amazing drummer in general. And he came out with a book called Drum Wisdom many years ago. And it's not a standard drum book with patterns and things like that. It's really more concepts on how he sees playing the drums and playing music. And it's a very musical book. So I got the non-independent method from this book. So first I'm going to explain the independent method. So that's how we usually play on the drums, using independence. So we'll play maybe one pattern in our right hand, a different pattern in our left foot, different pattern in our left hand, and then maybe we improvise with the bass drum. So to be able to do that, you have to work on different patterns with your right hand, different patterns with your left foot, different patterns with your left hand, and then work on all the possibilities to free up the bass drum, or to free up the snare drum, or your right hand, whatever it is that you're doing. And then sometimes we'll play just one ostinato, and maybe improvise with three limbs, play two ostinatos, improvise with two limbs. But to do, all, to do all of that, you really have to work out all these different patterns and permutations. Now, the non-independent method, it doesn't work like this. So there are certain rules. So you can't play your two hands together at the same time. You can only play them one at a time. So let's say if I'm just playing single, single stroke rolls, or if I add doubles in my right or left hand. So whatever, let's say your right hand is doing, your left hand fills in the other notes, okay? So that's the first rule. So you would first start just practicing on the snare drum, just different stickings, and you could improvise whatever stickings that you want. And this is a very direct method because whatever it is that you're hearing in your head, comes out very easily because you're only doing one thing at a time. So let's say if I hear tak 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 ta tak 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 ta okay? Very direct. And the difference between let's say the independent method is if let's say you're playing an ostinato here, ding di di ding di di ding ostinato with your right foot left foot ding ti ding ti ding ti ding then tak ta 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 you have to work all that stuff out. You might be able to play it, you might not be able to play it. So the non-independent method allows you to play at faster tempos, a lot easier without the block of independence. It really allows you a more direct expression of what you're hearing and feeling. Okay, so the first step is in the hands. The next step is, so let's say now you're just doing it on the snare, but you can move your hands around the kit now, however you want. Right hand on the right, left on the snare, right hand on the hi-hat, whatever it is that you want to do. The next thing is that you can only play your bass drum together with your right hand. You're not allowed to play it with your left hand. So you can either play your right hand by itself or with bass drum together okay and what this does is it really links your body together with your right hand whatever your strong hand is so if you're left-handed that would be your leading hand and your right foot would be linked with your uh, left hand okay but I'm gonna talk about right hand so what this does in your brain it makes it a lot easier to just those notes will work right away there's no independence happening and it's the same with your left foot. Your left foot could only play with your right hand. Your left foot and your right foot could also play together, but, or the left foot could play alone or the right foot alone, but they have to, if you do play them, they have to be synced with your right hand. What this creates is really, it takes out independence. It's almost linear playing because you're not just playing one note at a time. Sometimes you're playing two, sometimes you're playing three. But in linking these two limbs with your right hand, with your leading hand, 
it makes it a lot easier, a more direct expression without independence. If you try it out, you're going to see what I mean. You're going to get it right away. So when you're playing really fast tempos, it really is a more direct and more effortless way of expressing whatever rhythms or sounds that you're hearing. And it also allows you to play more open because when we're playing, let's say one ostinato, we're staying more in line with this pattern and beat and we might play underneath it. But when you're playing as this is your leading hand and you're hearing maybe rhythms, so you're going to be playing them with your leading hand, ting, 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 ting. It creates more open beats, more syncopated beats. So just try this out very simply and you're going to see how much easier it is and also what a different sound that you're going to get on the drums by doing this. And I really go in between the two. So I'll play the independent way, the way we usually play. And sometimes I'll go to the non-independent method, go back, back and forth. So I'm going to be coming out with a new video lesson series. And this is going to be a continuation of uh, the Improve Your Groove lessons that I already have on my website. The Improve Your Groove lessons were really focused on really the basics for improving your feel and your groove playing. So there is no really patterns or stickings or anything like that in those lessons. It's really more dealing with time, sound, consistency, uh, all things like that, okay? This video lesson series is going to be focused more on patterns that I play on the drums. So it's going to be a combination of the independent way of playing with ostinatos and the non-independent way of playing. And I'm going to go through each one step by step so you can really express and you're able to improvise whatever beat whatever you feel at, a, at slow tempos, at fast tempos. And I'm also going to go through some of my signature grooves that I play all the time and show them to you guys. And also some grooves that have really inspired me. Uh, and also techniques to help these grooves happen and to be able to express yourself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.